identifying where you are right now in your career path and also identifying what is the next step is very important when it comes to job and internship search. In this short video, I'm going to show you some tools and resources that you as an undergraduate student can use to find these jobs and internships. The first step that I'm not going to talk about is to find out what you are interested in. If you are studying a specific major, what do you want to do in future? That's something that you will know eventually. If you are first year students and you still have no idea what you want to do, that's absolutely fine. You have plenty of time to speak with your professors and career services and career development at your university to figure out what are your interests and what you want to do eventually. If you are a student who is looking forward to graduation pretty soon, you probably have a good idea of what you want to do that is aligned with your interests. The next question is, how do I find the job title of what I want to do? That's actually very important because different companies are organized based on those job titles. I'm going to show you a simple way of having a good idea of what job titles are available out there. Let's go on Google and I will show you what to do. All right, I am pretty sure that whatever your major is, you at least know one company that could be a private company, a public company, federal, local, so on and so forth, that you can work at, right? Let's say that I am a civil engineer, I'm an undergraduate civil engineer, and I know that bar engineering uh, provides the types of jobs that I am interested in. So I'm going to go on Google and search bar engineering because that's a company that I know. And then usually the first link would be the link for that specific company. And I'm going to click on the careers at bar engineering. All right. You can learn about the careers that they have. I'm interested in the open positions to learn what types of job titles I should look for. So I'm going to click on open positions and then I'll be directed to the open positions across the United States because bar engineering is a company in the United States. All right. Let's say that if I click on the, you can filter, right? I'm a civil engineer, so I'm going to click on civil over here and it looks like there are 15 jobs available and then click search again to filter that. All right. Now out of these 15 jobs, I'm going to read different types of job titles. This one is civil geotechnical mining engineer. Interesting. This one is water resources engineering and it's an entry level job and it's hybrid. What else do we do have environmental engineer and it's a senior level job and it's remote. Okay, now I have a good understanding of what type of job I might expect at bar engineering. If you do this process for um, two or three more companies, you'll have a great idea of what type of job titles for your major is available out there. Let's say that, let's assume that I am a civil engineering major who is interested in water resources engineering. So I know that my future job title would be water resources engineer. All right, with that knowledge, now I can use different platforms that allow me to search all the jobs available for water resources engineering. You might ask, what are some of these platforms? So if you are a college student, undergraduate college student, normally the university that you are studying at um, sponsors one of these platforms. I am a professor at the University of St. Thomas and University of St. Thomas uh, gives the ability of searching for jobs in a platform called Handshake that you can see all the uh, different uh, job fairs and also you can see different jobs if you want to search. There are other great resources that you can use um, normally for free uh, like Glassdoor, LinkedIn, Indeed, and FlexJob. All right, I will talk about LinkedIn later in this video, but first let me talk about university-sponsored plat platforms. That's a great idea to start with a university-sponsored platform because that means that the uh, career services or career development office at your university will sponsor that and will help you to create your profile there. There are lots of resources available and lots of services available at the university that you are studying. So I highly encourage you to take a look at the website 
for career development or career services, depending on which university you are, and learn the services that they provide. Let me show you the services that the University of St. Thomas provides for undergraduate students. All right, I am in the career development website for the University of St. Thomas as an example. You can check this out. If you are not at the University of St. Thomas, you can check this out uh, for your college or university. So when you're here, usually there is services area that you can learn about what type of services you can expect uh, for you from career development services. And there are usually many resources available as well. So under resources, you can uh, watch some videos and learn some tips about, let's say, what happens after your interview or how to write an email, so on and so forth. These are very useful to give you a lot of good information about your career and your future trajectory. That could be a job or that could be even applying for graduate school. So I highly recommend checking out the career development services at your university. I'm gonna link all of these resources for the University of St. Thomas in the description section of this video. All right, and eventually I wanna talk about LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a great platform. Not only you can look for jobs and create alerts for that specific jobs and internships, but also, it gives you the ability to create a professional profile for yourself, post your achievements, and essentially tell people how qualified you are based on what you have done in college. I'm not gonna show you how to create a LinkedIn profile. Hopefully you know that. And if you don't, there are many other videos and articles that you can search to create your LinkedIn profile. What I'm gonna show you today is how you can use LinkedIn to search for specific job titles. So let's go back to your, your, our example. Um, assuming that I am a civil engineering student, student who is interested in water resources engineering, and I looked for different job titles, and the job title that I want is water resources engineer. So I'm gonna have that in mind and go to LinkedIn and find the jobs that match that job title. Let's do that. All right, I am in my LinkedIn page, and this is the home page of my LinkedIn page. What I want to do, I'm going to go to this Jobs tab. So I'm going to click on the Jobs tab, and you can clearly uh, see that it already recommends some jobs to me based on my profile, right? Because of my profile is complete, it knows that I'm interested in uh, water resources jobs, right? Okay, but let's say that for you, it doesn't show up like this. What do you want to do? You want to search the job title that you found you are interested in. So I'm going to go over here and under search, create right water resources engineer. Okay, here. And I'm going to click on that and it will search and find all related water resources engineering jobs for you. Notice that the location is all over US and all over the world actually. So if you want to filter that, you absolutely can do that so this is all over us i'm just gonna filter this to minneapolis or minnesota let's say minnesota there we go and these are all jobs that have water resources engineering components in them in minnesota right okay let's take a look at this one for example is um, the water resources engineer entry level that we saw in the bar engineering so on and so forth let's say that i am interested in this job I'm going to click on this this one and read about the job read about the company SCH, and also read about the qualifications these qualifications are very very important specifically if you are a student who just started their college degree you can learn about what you need to be able to do and what qualifications you need to have after graduation to get this type of job and then um you can always learn about the company the company has a linkedin page and do that so sometimes they post responsibilities as well for example here you can see that if you accept this job what would be your responsibilities all right you can do the same thing for any other uh, job that is over here let's say that uh, you want to be um uh, notified whenever a job is posted with all of these 
filters that you have set. Let's say that we are going to say all the jobs that are posted in the past month and we are looking for only, let's say, internships. Why not? And the company, you can even select the companies that you want to work, the job type. We are only working for internships again. And then for some reason, we just want the remote jobs. And what else? Again, the company is over here. So right now, there are only two jobs available like that. So if you want to be notified whenever another job with all of these uh, filters is posted, then you need to set this alert. When you turn this on, you they will email you and they will um, send you notifications when there is a job posted with all of these filters that you have. This makes the process much easier for you as somebody who is looking for internship internships or different um, job titles.